Electrophysiology is a branch of cardiology which deals with the electrical system of the heart. As we know, heart is a muscular pump which has uh, its own blood supply that is called coronary arteries and for this chambers to contract in a coordinated manner requires an electrical system. Uh, so, the study of this electrical system of the heart is called electrophysiology and uh, any disturbances because of any abnormalities in this uh, normal function of the electrical system uh, leads to various uh, problems called arrhythmias and a cardiologist who deals with these problems is called an electrophysiologist. Any disturbance, any disease of the electrical system of the heart can lead to the heart rate which is either too fast or too slow. So, this electrical disturbance is called arrhythmia that is a disturbance in the rhythm of the heart. If the heart rate is too fast that is above the physiological range we call it as a tachyarrhythmia or tachycardia and when the heart rate is too slow below the physiological range when we, we call bradycardia and both of these can cause problems. These arrhythmias can be because of so many reasons. One thing it could be because of a problem in the electrical system itself, there could be some extra electrical focus or an extra electrical pathway, what we say accessory pathways or because of a damage to the heart muscle, either because of a, a heart uh, attack that is a myocardial infarction or because of an infection, if the heart is dilated and damaged that itself can give rise to these abnormal electrical rhythms. And similarly, even the slow heart rates also can be because of wear and tear in the electrical system of the heart or it could be because of some drugs which are used to control the arrhythmias. And also it could be because of various metabolic disturbances occurring in the heart. These arrhythmias usually can occur at any age group starting from the, uh, the child which is in the mother's womb to an elderly person who is 80 years or 90 years, but most of the supraventricular arrhythmias what we say is usually occurs in the younger age group, whereas ventricular arrhythmias especially those which are caused because of a heart attack and all those things they are usually caused in the middle aged or elderly age group. These arrhythmias there are so many several investigations how we uh, uh, investigate these patients. Uh, the basic is an ECG then followed by uh, echocardiogram and then there are uh, other investigations called Holter 24 hour Holter which uh, there is a prolonged monitoring of the heart rhythm usually for 24 hours and sometimes there are uh, the patient's heart rhythm may have to be monitored for an extended period say for weeks or months then we have uh, devices called event recorders or implantable loop recorders which keep on recording the heart rhythm for a prolonged period of time and once the information is found that he, this has electrical problem is there. There is an um, uh, invasive method called electrophysiology study. Electrophysiology study is a study where some specialized catheters which have electrodes at the tip are inserted into the various locations within the heart through either a, a blood vessel from the groin or from the arm or from the neck veins. This is basically done under local anesthesia, patient will be fully conscious and uh, these are uh, placed at various locations of the electrical system which gather electrical information and these electrical information can be displayed on uh, monitors which are displayed here and we have uh, some methods also to put the heart into abnormal rhythm by way of stimulating the heart. So, for this we have some stimulators as well. And once the problem is uh, pinpointed, where is the abnormal focus is found, the region of the abnormal focus is found out, probably we can cure most of them by a method called radio frequency ablation. Radio frequency is a, a electrical energy of, a, it is a, it is nothing but a high energy, high frequency alternating current, which can be passed through some specialized catheters called uh, ablation catheters and can be used to destroy an abnormal electrical uh, focus or uh, tissue. Sometimes the focus may not be in just one area, it may need to be uh, the heart chamber need to be mapped extensively 
and the lesions may have to be created at several places. In such occasions, we take the help of uh, 3D uh, mapping system that is three dimensional mapping system which help us to create uh, 3D geometry of a desired heart chamber and in this geometry we can move the electrical uh, tubes in a real time. So, the accuracy is improved and the safety is also ensured and after the procedure patient is usually after 2 to 3 hours you will be able to sit up and next day you will be able to walk around and most of these uh, procedures patients will be able to go home either in the same day evening or the next day morning. Radio frequency ablation is curative procedure in uh, most of the supraventricular arrhythmias that is I would say almost more than 95 percent of the supraventricular arrhythmias radio frequency ablation is curative. So, once the ablation is successful ablation is done the patient does not need any uh, medical treatment otherwise he may have to be on medications sometimes lifelong and these drugs may have a potentially harmful side effects as well. That coming to the uh, another problem of electrical system bradyarrhythmias. Bradyarrhythmias are too slow heart rate and if we do not find any reason any correctable any reversible cause for uh, bradyarrhythmias then such patients uh, need to be uh, inserted a special device called pacemakers where uh, the special leads go into the heart chambers and it is connected to a battery through which the heart chamber is artificially paced. There are other specialized pacemakers called automatic implantable defibrillators and uh, biventricular pacemakers. Automatic defibrillator uh, implantable defibrillator is a device if which gives a shock electrical shock to the heart when the heart beats when the lower chambers of the heart that is ventricles beat very fast and erratically that is called ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation which is life threatening and if the heart is not put back to normal rhythm within a few minutes the patients will die. So, this is a life saving device uh, which will deliver a shock if the heart goes into an abnormal rhythm. Then there is a device called biventricular pacing as well unlike a conventional pacing there is a the one more lead the third lead is inserted into the left uh, lower chamber of the heart that is the left ventricle and this is designed to improve the heart function of the patient whose heart function is uh, severely depressed. This is called biventricular pace make, uh, pacing or uh, cardiac resynchronization therapy. In Fortis hospital we have a dedicated uh, uh, electrophysiology department. Under electrophysiology department we have a facility to do a non-invasive test like uh, whole monitoring, event recorders, head up tilt test which is uh, usually used to test the patients who are suffering from uh, frequent falls and of course, we have a uh, well equipped uh, state of the art uh, uh, electrophysiology lab. Here we have apart from conventional system we have a 3D mapping system that is 3D, 3 dimensional mapping system. Uh, we have an insight or an AVEX system which helps us to create a 3D geometry of the various chambers of the heart and in this center uh, we perform complex ablations uh, like atrial fibrillation ablations, ventricular tachycardia ablations apart from uh, implanting uh, devices uh, like pacemakers. Uh, automatic implantable defibrillators and uh, biventricular pacemakers.